Hi, this is Brad Linder with Little Computing, and I'm taking a look at Dell's new XPS laptops, which are uh, being announced in the end of August and available at the end of August 2019. Two of these uh, that we're looking at here actually look pretty familiar because we saw them earlier this year. This is the XPS 13 2 in 1 with an Intel Ice Lake processor, 10th generation, 10 nanometer chips. Uh, you can check out another video that I've done to see more details on these, but basically they're smaller, they're a little bit thinner, they're a little bit um, more compact than their predecessors, and they have much more powerful processors because Intel's previous generation 13 uh, inch 2 in 1s had uh, seven, uh, seven watt processors. These now have 15 watt U-series chips. Uh, they have the cameras have been moved to the top. They have a new maglev style keyboard, fingerprint sensor over here. Overall, they're pretty uh, slick little machines and they're gonna have starting prices of about $1,000. Uh, while they were introduced earlier this year, they were not yet available and now they are uh, hitting the streets in August of 2019. What's new, even though it doesn't look that new, are the new XPS 13 uh, clamshell style devices. These have starting prices of about $850, and they have 10th generation Intel Core Comet Lake processors, and that means that they feature 14 nanometer chips, but also 15 watt U-series processors. Now, in terms of design, they are actually pretty much identical to what we've seen in the, the previous generation. So they're thin, they're light, they have very slim bezels, they're available with a choice, I think, of uh, Full HD or 4K displays, and uh, available with, um, uh, I think, a range of processors, Core i3 up to Core i7. Um, but what's new is really under the hood, it's that they, uh, they have the Core i3, Core i5, Core i7 Comet Lake processors, which should bring uh, new Wi-Fi features, among other things, uh, some new capabilities, and we'll, uh, we'll have more details from uh, Intel, and you can check out lilliputing.com for all the latest information about what the, the performance differences are going to be between the 10th generation and the 8th generation chips that we saw previously. There are no 9th generation U-series processors. The 9th generation was really just for the H-series and the other uh, more powerful chips that Intel had. Uh, three color options here. We've got sort of a white on white look that we're, uh, we're looking at here. And this is something that Dell started doing, I think maybe about two years ago, was offering this uh, glass fiber chassis. There's also a rose gold and a silver version. The rose gold also has that glass fiber chassis. And um, this model is touchscreen and has pretty much edge to edge glass. There's like a little slight border here, but overall it's got a very uh, nice display. And then finally, we've got this silver back and me scratching the walls um, with a carbon fiber chassis. And this version is uh, pretty much the classic, or closer to the classic design that we've seen from Dell uh, for a number of years. And it's uh, still a pretty great looking little thin and light laptop with the um, fingerprint sensor in the power button, fingerprint sensor off to the side, uh, backlit keyboard, uh, optional touchscreen display, I believe. Uh, not every version has touchscreen, right? I think, yeah. Yeah, so it's, um, and we've got a micro SD card slot, a, um, USB type C port, I don't think that one's Thunderbolt. Headphone jack and two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and that's pretty much it. So, very slim, very light, and let's make a little bit more room here so I can show you just how thin we're talking here. Um, these measure around a little bit less than half an inch thick at the back, and even a little bit thinner towards the front. So. That's a quick look at Dell's XPS 13 and 13 2-in-1 lineup. Again, these are all very familiar looking devices. The main differences are under the hood. And so you can go to lilliputing.com to check out the complete spec sheets for all of these to see what's really uh, expected to be different this year. It should all be available in August uh, 2019 with starting prices around 850 for the clamshell and around 1,000 for the 2-in-1.